jank little moment. Medicine glory, I guess you could say. Then you want to save right here. Because you know what? Well, we're going to head for the Pokemon League. So yeah. Okay, then after you've done all that, you can talk to the guy. Oh no! Of course! Hold it! Don't go off without me! You're challenging the Pokemon League, aren't you? That's why I'm here too! Let's see who's more worthy of making the challenge with a battle! That's not even how Cody sounds in the anime, I just like making that voice of him. The final battle with Cody, or whatever you named Rival. You can name your bu rival Buttface for all I care. Okay, he's actually tough this time, and like, he's only five levels below me this time. At least it's Staraptor versus, um, Rocky Road in this case. Wait, there's something on my screen. Yeah, there's something on my screen. I think it was like a, um, fingerprint that the camera could pick up, I don't know. Um... You want to use Head Smash on this thing. Oh, of course he uses U-Turn, so... Oh, that was a stupid... That was a... Mmm. That was a good move, Cody. You're actually learning. What Pokemon is he sending out next? Floatzel. Oh, come on. I have all his Pokemon, he gets Floatzel. That's so not fair. That's not fair at all. <laughs> Head smash is gonna faint it. <laughs> I called it. I called it. Ouch, that hurt me though. Um, ten bucks says, um, oh wait, he actually evolved his Weasel into Floatzel this time around. Ten bucks, he says, Rose. Darn it, Heracross. Um, switch Pokemon. Heracross is level 50 this time. He's actually three levels ahead of me for once. One of his Pokemon is a higher level than one of mine. Which is amazing. I'm so proud of him. Anyways. Yeah. It's gonna kill him. Yes. Called it. Just barely when I was actually gonna kill him though. So. You know. Man. Staraptor. As much as I would want to do Staraptor versus Staraptor, I'm not gonna do it this time around. I'm risking it because Head Smash causes recoil damage, as you've seen it like a few times in the past. I'm actually keeping track, I think, I don't know. Um, so, I'm risking it. I'm hoping that the recoil damage won't faint, um, Rocky Road itself, so, yeah. And if he uses Quick Attack, I'm gonna be really mad, because it might actually be enough to save me then. Are you kidding me? That's not... You Are you serious? That's just not cool. And now, I'm not gonna get any experience for Rocky Road from this next Pokemon he sends out. Rose Red. He actually evolved his Rosella into Rose Red? Oh my gosh. Well, this Rose Red's gonna die. Sadly enough. Yeah, and I'm gonna die along with it. Of course. That was like a death match right there. Jeez. That was a death match. And no one gets experience, sadly enough. Let's see. I'm, a, I'm thinking he'll send out... What does he have left? He has his Snorlax, he has his Infernape, and he has his Staraptor. Let's see. This might take a while. I'm gonna send out Sea Rider. I had to think there for a second, too. Aww! Oh, that was a good pick. I mean, honestly. Aw, oh, for once again! His Pokemon is four levels ahead of me. Focus Blast, that would have hurt. Jeez. Infinite. Oh my gosh, he evolved his Monferno into Infinite. Finally. I'm so proud of him. But it's gonna die now, of course. I keep on one hit KOing all his Pokemon. It's just like sad. 
Okay, level 50, I love that. Level 50. I love leveling up, is what I mean. Staraptor. Too bad, um, Rocky Road isn't gonna, you know, take this thing out, but I can take this out with an ice beam. Ten bucks says the Staraptor's gonna use, um, U turn again. Ten bucks. Oh my gosh, you actually didn't use U turn this time around. I'm so proud of him. I mean, jeez, seriously. <laughs> Ice Beam. That's actually the first move that didn't one hit KO one of his Pokemon. That proves that he's actually gotten a little tougher. And for once, the first time in this walkthrough, you'll see the sprite animation for Waterfall. So take it in deeply. Here it goes in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Aw, oh, it was a little off, but oh well. Or the waterfall, and then it's just Sheldon getting soaked by it. There we go. And now you have seen Waterfall from Sea Rider. Thank you, thank you very much. Just kidding. And then he actually evolved his Munchrax and the Snorlax, but you guys didn't get to see Munchrax because that video got deleted in it. Urgh. Oh well. Oh well. No relax. It's level 51, obviously. Yeah, this fully believe I fully believe this is my last one. There's no need to panic or sweat out or panic. Or freak out. He said freak out there. Okay. The only has is this fat Snorlax now, which is gonna die from close combat. Bye bye Snorlax. Yes. That's actually the second Pokemon that didn't survive, that actually survived one hit. I'm so proud of him, he's actually getting stronger. Good for him. Good for him. No, 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 no. I hate you, critical hit. Giggle. He had two Gibbles plus a Gyarados. So yeah, let's use another Earthquake. Don't wake up this time, and I probably jinxed it there. Please don't. I don't want to redo this video. I want to fit this battle into one part. Okay, let's see. Oh, it's still I knew it would still survive. And just to be on the safe side, I know Crunch would probably work. I'm just going to do another earthquake. So he's a, he didn't wake up after at least two earthquakes. That just proves that this is totally Nintendo logic. Because in real life, if you heard an earthquake, you'd wake up in like a split second, honestly. Shall I go to level 48? That's nice. Awesome. What just went down? My team still needs raising? Of course. $10,600. Poker dollars, actually. Yeah, you're not ready for the Pokemon League if I'm... I'm stronger than you, you know that. Yeah.